motorcycle world is always abuzz with some intrigue or another, and after some recent spy shots of a masked Aprilia test bike surfaced, rumours abound. Behind the camouflage appears to lurk the rumoured RS440, Aprilia's newest track-bred toy, and probably the first example of a whole new platform. This stripped-down sports bike could be poised to bring the thrill of Aprilia's racing heritage to a new generation of scratchers. Development had to accelerate on the RS440 ahead of its anticipated 2024 release, and it seems that it has. Speculations running rampant about what secrets lie beneath the bodywork. Will this pint-sized performer live up to the Aprilia RS pedigree? Let's look inside and see what we can decode from under the disguise of this rising star. Reading between the lines, if you look, Although cleverly disguised as the RS660, you can see some key differences from its big sibling. Gone are the 660's dual front brake discs, replaced by a single unit. The front fairing shape also lacks the upper nose that generates extra downforce on the 660. Other clues also emerge from closer inspection. The mirrors, bodywork design and swing arm shape all differ substantially from the 660. This shows that the RS440 has a unique identity, rather than simply having a smaller engine stuck in the 660. Aprilia designers seem to have crafted a bike with its own distinct character. The RS440 appears to trade some of the 660's aggressive edges for smoother, more graceful lines, but that may change on the final production model. The styling now gives a feeling of poise rather than outright aggression, it's still undeniably a member of the RS clan, but with a fresh new twist. Perhaps a more ergonomic rider experience was a design priority over a racetrack biased design. Visually, compared to the RS660, the RS440 looks like a slimmed down scalpel, perfect for slicing through mountain roads. For those of you that are wondering, that is in theory an all new Motocosi Stelvio 1000 too but I'm still digging on that one. You will have to wait for the real news. Insider chatter suggests the RS440 will be powered by an all-new parallel twin engine rather than simply sleeving down the existing 660 power plant. Piaggio, Aprilia's parent company, has already registered designs for a 250cc twin with a 270-degree crank, and while patents show a 250 engine, Rumours indicate by final production there will also be a 440cc engine. This should put power output around the UK and European A2 licence limit of 35 kilowatts, which is around 47 horsepower. With that in mind, the RS440 could make a serious mark in the A2 licence and sub 500cc sport bike category. We can expect a high revving performance from this free spinning twin with a red line likely to be well above 10,000 RPM and probably around the 12,000 mark. While inevitably down on peak power compared to a 600 Supersport, Aprilia's engineers will undoubtedly wring every last drop they can from the 440cc parallel twin. Ride-by-wire throttle, engine braking management and selectable engine maps are likely to be standard and give the rider control over the power characteristics. Full LED lighting and a bright TFT dash can be seen, and Bluetooth connectivity and smartphone integrations are very likely, bringing the RS440 firmly into the 21st century. Photos also reveal robust-looking inverted front forks and a linkage-mounted rear shock. Aprilia know that sharp handling is paramount in the small displacement sport bike segment. These premium components suggest the focus is on handling, and so whether or not they offer external adjustability, the suspension should be well dialed in. The latest tech, like multi-level traction control and a quick shifter, may further polish the RS440's track readiness, but the quick shifter may well be in the extras list. While adding cost, these ride rates do significantly broaden the appeal for new riders and the burgeoning Asian markets. With these tricks up its sleeve, 
the RS440 could provide a great platform to help novice riders learn their craft and gain confidence. Pairing away excess weight becomes an obsession among sports bike engineers, and you can bet the RS440 development team chased grams relentlessly. A compact twin-cylinder engine will always be slim compared to a larger four-cylinder mill. A lightweight frame, rear subframe and featherweight bodywork will also help keep weight central and low. Expect the RS440's power to weight ratio to push legal limits. Combine this with razor sharp geometry and the RS440 looks perfect for carving up canyon switchbacks or scraping the pegs at a track day. There's one thing to consider here though. European A2 license regulations state that the limits are an engine power output not exceeding 35 kilowatts and a power to weight ratio not exceeding 0.2 kilowatts per kilo. So we need to do some sums. 35 kilowatts is about 47 horsepower. So 0.2 kilowatts per kilogram is around 0.27 horsepower per kilo. So to find the weight, we calculate power divided by power to weight ratio, which equals the weight. So 47 horsepower divided by 0.27 horsepower per kilo gives us 174.1 kilos. This means the minimum weight of a 47 horsepower motorcycle to comply with A2 license regs is 174 kilos. So I think we can safely say that the RS440 will be around 175 kilos and around 47 horsepower as standard. But probably, or should I say hopefully, with a performance chip to raise the red line and subsequent power output. That does make much more sense to me than restricting bigger, more expensive motorcycles for learner riders. This is a sector that I've been talking about for a while now, and it's hotting up. With the Kawasaki ZXR 400 and 400 Ninja, BMW's G310R and Yamaha's R3, Honda's CBR300R and CBR500R along with the new kids on the block, like the CF Moto 450SR, is set to become the next big battleground. I wonder what Suzuki will bring to the table. Alongside the sports bikes, we already have the various Royal Enfields, the new Triumphs and don't forget the Kobe 450 Rally. We even have a new Harley in some parts of the world. The RS440's rider triangle also appears to be less radical than some full-on supersports motorcycles. While still decidedly forward-leaning, it looks a little more upright than the RS660 for more comfort. A more relaxed knee bend and a seat height accessible for shorter riders should broaden the appeal of the RS440 while not dulling its competitive edge. Better wind protection comes from a taller looking windscreen, a subtle change that improves real world practicality. This should open the door for more riders to experience Aprilia's racing heritage, not just hardcore racers. Aprilia has a knack of building small displacement bikes with big bike character, and the RS440 should continue that tradition, just as the acclaimed RS125 and 250 did. The RS440 looks set to shake up the learner market as a pure concentration of excitement, rather than a watered-down version of a bigger motorcycle. Expect the RS440 to have a spot-on chassis balance, a howling twin-cylinder soundtrack, and cat-like agility. That should promise a fantastic level of rideability and performance, enough to thrill even experienced riders. Sophisticated electronics and dialed-in suspension will mean it's far more than just a learner's bike. This motorcycle could be set to deliver a big bucket of fun at sane and safer speeds. While novice riders can develop their skills progressively on the RS440, its geometry and engine should allow more experienced riders to explore its limits too. In an era of ever stricter licensing and other regulations, lightweight super sports motorcycles have a strong appeal, as a triple digit horsepower engine rarely is of little use on public roads. The RS440 offers a more sustainable route to thrilling performance. As the latest model in Aprilia's legendary RS lineup, the RS440 
should provide the next generation of riders a gateway to Aprilia's decades of racing success. Younger riders can cut their teeth on this sharp handling sports bike before sampling its big brothers. I think the RS440 opens up many possibilities for sports bikes and could mean a continued evolution in challenging times for the internal combustion engine. While concrete details are few, the glimpses of Aprilia's handiwork have stoked the fires of anticipation. If the RS440 fulfills its promise, it could be a fantastic route to race-inspired thrills on two wheels. Based on the rest of the family, this rising star seems destined for greatness. Has a new heir emerged to the proud RS line? Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Now, you know I've talked about how to get younger riders interested in motorcycles, and bikes like this can only help. Well, looking again at the license regs, 35 kilowatts, which is about 47 horsepower, is the absolute maximum power for A2 compliance. That means the minimum weight of a 47 horsepower motorcycle is 174 kilos. But for a motorcycle of 150 kilos, the max power output would be 40 horsepower. Considering this, and the fact that it has always been easier to tune a motorcycle than to make it lighter, would it be a reasonable idea to make this and other motorcycles in this segment lighter, and then supply a power upgrade kit for people who have passed their test and no longer need to stick with the power to weight ratio. If Aprilia built the new RS440 lighter, which from the SVX 550 we know they can, then sold a multi-level power chip conversion, could a 150 kilo RS440 be pushed up from a limited 40 horsepower to around 60 horsepower? Taken to its extreme, if they could build it down to a weight of 125 kilos for A2 use, it would have to be limited to around 34 horsepower. But if it could then be pushed up to 60 horsepower, it would give a power to weight ratio equivalent to a 100 horsepower motorcycle that weighed 200 kilos. But with all the advantages a lightweight motorcycle brings, that would get us back to the sort of performance levels that some of the small capacity motorcycles of the past achieved. For me, I think it would make an interesting little track bike and provide an exciting and enticing motorcycle for new younger riders. The platform could also make an exciting lightweight dirt focused adventure bike too. Knowing how popular the idea of multiple models built around the same platform is, there's no reason that a naked roadster and a scrambler couldn't also be added to the range. That would mean that R&D costs would be recouped from four new models rather than just one. In Aprilia's case, they could even add a lower weight carbon equipped factory model with a full power race chip, or follow KTM's idea and have the extra power hidden behind a paywall so it can be activated when the rider has passed their test. Do you think any of these ideas would help to lure a higher number of younger riders into the world of motorcycles? If you made it this far, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It only takes you a few seconds and it helps a lot because YouTube is forced to push my content out to more and more people. It really does help to get the word out to those people who don't know about the channel yet. Subscribing also means you get to find out first when our regular updates, news, views and other videos go out each week. Don't forget to share the video with anyone you think might be interested too if you could. You can visit the website or the Red Bull shop linked in the description for the best biker t-shirts and other merchandise and there is a contact page on the website if you need to get in touch too. There are also exciting motorcycle adventures and other stories from the shed and beyond on the website so why not grab a cuppa and take a look around? You won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching. I hope you get some great riding in. Ride free everyone.